The project I'm going to show you is the Illuminating Clay platform. We wanted a way for designers, uh, landscape engineers, architects to be able to model their, uh, their uh, ideas in physical materials and, and be able to enter those directly into a computational environment without any need to translate uh, in, in, into a digital model. So uh, the interface we have here consists of a, an ordinary table with an ordinary clay material, which represents the model of a landscape. And the colors that you see here are the projected DEM of the model. DEM stands for Digital Elevation Model, and each of these colors represent different heights within the model. If I move the cursor over the center of the model here, we have two red lines that indicate section cuts. And these sections are revealed at this point here and here. The numbers that you see are indicating the heights at those particular points. So using the DEM, we can analyze the model in a number of other ways, including, for example, if we want to look at the LDD drain, which is the direction and velocity that water would flow through the model, we can simply select that analysis function and that analysis is projected over the model. Here we have a ridge on the top of a mountain, and these lines indicate the direction of flow and the velocity of flow, depending on the color. If we want to look at how insertions in the landscape might have effects on factors such as shadowing, we can simply place a wooden block and see how that shadow is cast in the landscape. It's possible to combine more than one analysis function. So for example, here we have shadow and the slope function. And as I change the slope of the model, we can see how those geometric changes are reflected in real time with the results of the slope analysis. Another simulation is the aspect. This indicates the direction in which the various parts of the landscape model are facing. Here we can see this is south facing, north facing slopes. And this can help to position building structures in the landscape so as to make best use of the natural environment. This simulation shows a contour map of the model. And again, as we change the geometry, those contours uh, change in response to that. It's possible to remove the entire model and place another model using different materials, in this case LEGO, to analyze. The advantage of this kind of model is that it gives you control over discrete building blocks as opposed to the clay, which is much more amorphous. And again, since we're only taking geometry as the basic input to the computational simulation, any material or building platform can be used. We can combine materials such as the wooden block here. It's possible to compare the different analysis functions. Here we have the DEM digital elevation model, here we have the contour map, and here we have LDD drain. If we want to jump from the digital elevation model to LDD drain, we simply click on here, and that analysis function is cast over the surface of the model. Here we have an arrangement of three forms. This pyramid in the landscape and these two towers behind there. We can shift the pyramid over to the side and rotate this larger rectangular form. And maybe position the more slender form a little bit closer. And interestingly, we, we can begin to express form directly with the hand. Uh, if, for example, we're interested in a mass 
that occurred about this point. We can directly see the implications of that in terms of the shadow. 